What's up Capricorn? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. And if this is your first time joining me, then I would like to welcome you to There's That Tarot. Capricorn. Sometimes we have hills and sometimes we have mountains to climb. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even want to say that. It sounds so corny, but this one feels like a mountain for you. Um, a lot of weird things came up while I was shuffling. Um, but I think that you are, I'm trying to figure out how to put all the messages together. <clears throat> There's something you're remembering. It's a happy time. Looking back on some sunny memories. Either somebody you know, this could be a trigger for, for somebody. Either somebody you know has a string of pearls or the string of pearls is significant to something. Let's see. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Um, for those of you who are not plant people, But it's something I think mm, maybe a spiritual meaning behind this. So I always like to look at it. Ah, exactly. Wow. Through the mountains. It's like you can look back on the mountains, the, 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 the strongholds, the struggles that you've overcome in your life or that you're currently striving to overcome. And you can find the happy memories in it. String of pearls, according to history and myths, pearls are symbolic of wisdom gained through experience. The gems are believed to offer protection as well as attract good luck and wealth. It is also said that these little gemstones are symbolic of the wearer's loyalty, generosity, integrity, and purity. This is why I be doing this in my readings because somebody needed to hear that. There could be a uh, solstice came up as well and um, something about being outside. So at the heat of the day, the, the, the hottest point of the day or the, the lowest point of the day or something like that um, could be significant for you to go outside. Also, um, the solstice, is, the dates connected to the solstice. June 21st, December 22nd could be significant for somebody. And also something about a hummingbird. You could be connected. You could be one of those people who hums and sings a lot, musically inclined or something like that. Or you could be connected to somebody who may be a singer. So, that was a mouthful. Let's see what's going on with you. How are you feeling right now, Capricorn? I'll get one more shuffle for you. If I can get these cards together. How are you feeling right now, Cap? Wands in the reverse. Something's not feeling celebratory right now. Or maybe you're stuck in the house and you're not feeling happy being at home. Losing your energy right now, Capricorn. Losing Capricorn's energy. That's a lot. I don't know if I want to say all of this. Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to. I have to make some room for y'all's reading. What's your energy towards this person? their energy towards you okay a challenge this is looking like a longer reading Capricorn challenge is the eight of swords in the reverse and the advice is queen of cups in the reverse getting yourself out of a pattern that keeps keeps repeating in your life is what this looks like another mountain it's like we had a lot of good memories that's what it feels like this reading is going but it looks like something that, i don't know it's like just because it's happy 
Oh, we have happy time doesn't mean I don't know. We're not. That's just the feeling that I'm having so far. But we're gonna see um, what all of it is about. So, why the four of wands here for your overall feelings? You're feeling like something did not. Either you're not getting to, you're not getting attention from someone that you really want it from. Or feeling like you failed someone in some way. Do. Oh, I kind of hear like listening to other people's opinions or allowing. Somebody had a lot of options. Or either somebody's fantasizing about something, right? Why is there cups here? There was some confusion that came in or there was like other options, all of them not being healthy options that may have made a relationship fail here. But there are a lot of good memories with this person. It's a soulmate energy, but there's, I don't know what here. Somebody's a little unsure as to whether or not they're going to readdress this or Revisit. This is looking like a uh, relationship. Ace of Pentacles. Because there's still something about it. It's like you're going back and forth. I don't know because I'm not healed from what we went through the first time. Or I ran out of patience with that. Or it's something about this just throws me off of, of the path that I feel like I'm supposed to be on. I feel like I know the right thing to do is to let go in this situation. Get over this mountain. That has stressed me out quite a bit. There's a lot that's turned you off about it. Like if you really um, think about it and kind of remove your emotions from it. You know that this is something that doesn't make you very happy. Like, is it something that you really want? Or are you just continuing to look back at something out of a sense of, I don't know, guilt? Like, where could I have done things better? Or it's like grieving over it. Wanting to work on it, but knowing that maybe this isn't the best partner for me. And I might got emotions for somebody else, too. Who is this king? I kind of took on something else here. Or maybe I took on too much and I'm, I'm just trying to set myself free. Because I am think I think y'all might be thinking about two people. We got Aries here twice. Strong. Why is the Emperor here? <laughs> the, the fool. The world. Hold on, are we getting there? All right. So maybe. All right. So it looks. Here's what it looks like. It looks like one relationship failed due to somebody having some options here. Okay. Um. So somebody wasn't getting the attention or the recognition. Blah 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 blah. But then we got the four of wands again in the upright next to this emperor who is. An Ari um, who represents an Aries. The Four of Wands and the Emperor represents Aries. And then we got the Fool, which also represents Aries. Clarified by the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's kind of like there's another connection that you're not over yet. It's like you're <laughs> there's one that failed. It's still on your mind. What could I have done? Looking back. Spilt milk. Things like that. There seems to be someone, another powerful energy here where things are happy maybe even more healthy but maybe you're not feeling as though you can provide what's needed in that relationship because of this other one 
Still feeling a little sad. Caught between, caught in the middle. All right. Tell me if it resonates, Capricorn. We'll move on to who is this person in your energy? A lot of cards here. Knight of Swords. Could be an air sign, Emperor. It's a control thing here. It's something that we're not letting die. So, this is an X. Okay, possible air sign who doesn't. I don't feel trust you. Lots of six of pentacles in the reverse. Perception doesn't mean reality. Roles can be reversed. Tell you how it resonates. Six of pentacles. Air sign, big time. Um, I don't know if they quite know what to think. That's a definite reverse. I think this person hasn't let go of you, but they've also walked away in some sense. And part of them still wants you to be okay, or still wants you to to be okay. Emperor. <laughs> they may have felt like there was someone else who took your attention away from them. Could be an Aries. We got that here again. Ooh, high priestess. Ah. There's a hesitancy because this person feels like there's a secret or a secret person. High Priestess can be a mistress energy. High Priestess. Spices energy. Taurus as well. Four of Wands. Aries energy again. A lot of, a lot of the fire sign going down. What's the Four of Wands? It's like, is there a secret relationship? Moon in the reverse that could have been... That could have been revealed. Um, someone's lack of commitment here. And uh, it's like this person's trying not to get caught up in that part again. I feel like that's why this person has been withdrawn. Eight of Pentacles. So this person's kind of just been working. They kind of keeping their head down right now because they, they're not seeing everything clearly. It's like, you know how you have a hunch, but you ain't quite sure of what it is. This could be you or them. But it's like, until I know I'm, I'm not putting any energy into this. Gemini energy here with the lovers in the reverse. This person is disappointed um, about a decision that was made in this relationship. Possibly involving, like I said, yeah. Um, wait a minute. But it's like they I, they also want to make this right. I also feel two of cups. Damn. It's like they want to make this right, but whatever happened in the end was kind of shocking. Something happened. Either you're not interested anymore. Feel, somebody feels like it was a waste of time here. I feel like this person is going back and forth. <laughs> With whether or not they want to... Let me see. Somebody could live downtown. The song that's playing right now is called Downtown. It's cooler in that area. That could be a trigger for somebody. They walked away because of the lies. The devil. I feel like they lost hope in you. The chariot card. They moved on because they didn't want to be juggled. There's a fear here. There's a hesitancy here in starting this over due to. It's just given third party. So their energy towards you. Eight of Pentacles. I said they're kind of working alone they're kind of taking some space from this 
feeling left out in the cold, but I feel like they also have something to say here. There could have been some ugly words um, upon this exit. Okay. I don't want to be put in this position anymore. away because um whoever this is this is their energy towards you you don't i'm very unhappy with the fact that your attention is going somewhere else i know it is and i can't do this right ten of swords in reverse it's like i don't know if they still don't want this to be over though or maybe they are getting over it but they still stress about it because they felt like this was really going somewhere. But the, 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 the disconnect was real. Whatever, whoever caused the disconnect was real. And I feel like whoever that other person is, um, they don't have, you know, there are some people who kind of fly under the radar. I don't think this other person flies under the radar. It's something that is um, prominent about their energy. They don't mean they're like this wonderful, great person, but they do have a strong energy. I hear you broke the commitment. Even though somebody probably didn't act on it immediately or something like that. It was like somebody's... It's like the commitment broke before you actually touched that other person or something like that. I could, I could tell that you were aloof about commitment. I could tell that you weren't interested in that. I could tell that you love me, but there's a lot that you didn't express to me. I knew that your energy was split. Oh, wait. Is that their energy towards you? Yeah, that's their energy towards you. Your energy towards them. Did I get that mixed up? No, I didn't. It looks like you want to be with this person again. Six of Wands. This could be reversed, so... It looks like you want to fight for this. Ace of Cups. But you lack hope that this could happen because of the way that the communication is going on, the speed of things. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you want to let this person know that you can do better or whoever <laughs> this is, okay? Because I, I don't like when readers just, well, this part was you and this part was this, and, you know, because I know that can be triggering for people, but whoever this is, okay? Um, it's like maybe I've let go of those ways. Or perhaps <laughs> this is you moving on to something new, but kind of having a little doubt or worry or not like some tender spots in terms of starting something new or starting a new relationship, but actually letting go of what wasn't hurting you or what or what was hurting you or somebody who wasn't being committed to you or something like that. Letting go of old wounds is what this looks like, but kind of, you know, holding back. A little bit. Let me look deeper into this Capricorn. What is this about? I think you guys are needing to take the time to 
just get back in control of your life. There's a pause that's needed before you move on to something else here. Love on yourself. Maybe don't even communicate with a whole lot of people until you see things clearly. You know? What is this? There's somebody that you're thinking about, though. You want to talk to this person again. You want to resolve something with this person. I've been unhappy since we haven't been focused on each other. I'm seeing the work, like someone wanting to put that work in this time. But needing a pause. Like, take your time. So the challenge between you two is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Why is the Eight of Swords here? It could have been a frame of thought that needed to be changed here. There was something, it's like, I think the challenge was actually freeing yourself of this. Oh my God. <laughs> Eight of Swords clarified by the Eight of Swords. In the reverse. If you don't love me the same way, then I should just give up. If I'm not happy, then I should just like, go be happy. I feel like that's exactly what this is saying. Let me get out of this woe is me over whoever this person is. I'm, I'm feeling like a lot of you are dealing with an air sign who is possibly controlling. It's like everything was too mental. You, somebody didn't feel free to speak. In this relationship. Something was either always taken the wrong way. Or like. There was something here. Damn. Let's get out of here. This, the song that's playing right now. Is called Don't Waste Your Time. That's exactly what this spread means. This is the time to focus on you. There needs to be a pause here. And I feel like that's exactly what it's saying in your advice with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is the time for you to love on yourself. Okay. I don't think whatever this past relationship was or situation, there's a part of it that wasn't flowing freely because it somebody was it was like something was too mental, too much in your head, not enough in your heart. The the balance there. And somebody broke trust. And it's like once, it, unless that resentment is let go of, unless forgiveness really takes place, clear, concise communication. It's like sometimes you just gotta take us. Uh, you gotta get away from it in order to really see it. What might be the name of this real. Start rebuilding yourself. That's what, what it's looking like. Take time to rebuild yourself after this breakup. I wouldn't hop into the next thing. That was a similar message for Sagittarius too. It's like don't, I, the chariot in the reverse, the judgment in the reverse. If you're not sure, don't make a move. It's just giving me pause. And there's here's this air sign again. I of sorts. I don't know. I mean, what it's looking like is there's an a possible air sign or there's a conversation that 
doesn't need to be readdressed right now. Whatever it is, it always triggers something that's not happy. And it's like something to overcome. There's a pause that's needed. Take this moment to get over this connection. Whatever this connection is. It's looking like a missed opportunity. If you're honest with yourself, it was disappointing. If you're really honest with yourself, you wouldn't go back to this. If you were really healed, imagine what this situation would look like once you're really healed. I think it will be very clear to you whether or not you should entertain it, right? Any other messages for Capricorn? There's a failure to launch here. It never really got off the ground. I feel like somebody also... Ooh, I feel like somebody also buys you things or, you know, somebody, instead of addressing what really happened, like an adult, like you could save so much money if you just knew how to communicate. <laughs> somebody does that with gifts or like some kind of monetary something instead of saying, I'm sorry for this and this is what I plan to do to make that better and then go forth with action. You know what I'm saying? You can save a lot of money. We also have Never Look Back. My handwriting sucks. <laughs> Somebody was keeping their options open and they were mad that you didn't trust them. What might doing good require of you today? I think at this point you're looking for something serious. Okay, remember that through all of these mountains, God is your strength, Capricorn. Um, somebody may have felt as though, if you're dealing with a cancer, somebody, not many of you could be dealing with a cancer. There's an air sign in this reading, but cancer and Capricorn landed just now. Somebody's better at work than love. But I feel like Capricorn and cancer balance each other out. This could be a suggestion. <laughs> um... Because Capricorn is like number crunching and, you know, organization, business, all that kind of stuff, right? Cancer is love. But what a lot of people don't know is what cancer favors most is the kind of security that a Capricorn could provide. And Capricorn could learn a lot about love from a cancer. So there could be a suggestion here. Um... To tap more into your opposite nature. Okay. Because where I have um, Capricorn, it can kind of get in the way of my, like in my chart, I, from what I was reading, I'm still having to read a lot more about it. But from what I learned, it was like the, where my Capricorn placements are can be a challenge to my intuition. So it's like tapping more into the feeling instead of that logical, you know what I'm saying? Um, but there was a situation here that felt forced. Um, I feel like that was that past relationship. And somebody was fearing the end, although it was close. Anyway, somebody could have a very low voice, whether that be in baritone or volume. Um, and if there was a Pisces in your life, the card that fell directly on top of that was do not continue investing. I feel like that could be like your intuition telling you that there's something that's come to an end. You're looking for something more serious in your life. There was no real plan with it, whoever that other person was. No matter what, just remember that God is your strength as you navigate through this because I don't feel like this is something that you should continue to invest in. And I think the lesson here was to find that balance between work and play, personal and, and this. And You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's somebody that's going to come into your life once you take this pause that's going to complement what you bring that's going to add what you don't have 
But we have to take space from a situation in order to actually see it. I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And if you would like a personal reading, the information for that is in the description box. I will see you in the next reading. Ciao.